Smith-Peterson or the hip anterior approach, a 45-year-old male sustains a fracture, seen in figure A. He's scheduled for an open reduction internal fixation after dissection through the superficial muscular plane. A moderate amount of bleeding is noted in the surgical field. What vessel was likely injured? This question is obviously looking for what is the vascular structure at risk here? One, ascending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex, two, the medial femoral circumflex, the obturator artery, the external pudendal artery, or the femoral vein. And as you're aware, it's the ascending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex. That superficial uh, intermuscular plane is between the tensor fascia lata and the sartorius, and <clears throat> the ascending branch of this lateral femoral circumflex crosses the surgical field in this intermuscular plane and is about as constant as the sun rises. So it needs to be looked for, identified, and coagulated appropriately. Which of the following statements about the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve is true? It innervates the medial aspect of the proximal thigh, doubtful, originates from the dorsal roots L4, L5, of course runs medial to the femoral artery, course runs it along the medial border of the psoas model muscle, <clears throat> or finally number five, courses under the inguinal ligament. Well, the only one that really makes sense here, quite frankly, is it courses under the inguinal ligament, so you need to be cognizant of its location. The anterior approach provides excellent exposure to the hip joint and the ilium. Its indications include total hip, open reduction, biopsies, intraarticular fu fusions, uh, pelvic osteotomies, as well as uh, irrigation and debridement of native joint infections. The inner nervous plane is between the sartorius, which is the femoral nerve and the TFL, the superior gluteal, and the deep plane is between the rectus and the gluteus medius, as you can see. Anesthetics for the anterior approach, again, block versus general. Patient is positioned to supine, make the incision across the anterior half of the crest uh, and extended distally. Identify the interval between the sartorius and the TFL and dissect through the subcutaneous fat looking for the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. And size the fascia is indicated. And again, as we indicated in the first question, ligate that ascending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex artery, which crosses the gap between the sartorius and the TFL. The deep dissection defined the plane between the rectus and the gluteus medius, detach the rectus from its origins, retract the muscle medially and the uh, G medius laterally to expose the hip capsule, adduct externally rotate places the capsule under stretch and tension. You can either perform a longitudinal or a T-shaped capsular incision and at this point, external rotate and uh, dislocate the hip. Um, again, the dissection extend proximally if you need to, uh, posteriorly along the iliac crest, distal, and this could be, for example, the management of an intraoperative fracture of the distal femur, lengthen the skin incision, incise the fascia lata in line with the skin incision, and again, stay in the interval between the vastus lateralis and the rectus femoris. The big danger, the most common one, is in fact the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. The course is variable, and I can attest to that. And it can be seen passing either medial or lateral to the ASIS. It's most commonly seen when incising the fascia between the sartorius and the TFL. And as everyone is probably aware, may lead to painful neuroma and certainly decreased sensation of the lateral thigh. The femoral nerve, in fact, is at play and should remain protected as long as you stay lateral to the sartorius. And again, the ascending branch of that lateral femoral circumflex artery. In this approach, you're going to encounter it early, so be ready for it and take care of it right from the beginning. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.